Carousel brainstorming is a SADAI, a specially designed academic instruction in English strategy that teachers use with English language lear learners. Carousel brainstorming allows students to activate prior knowledge while working in groups and moving around the room. Carousel brainstorming can be used with different content curriculum at any grade level. A teacher can choose several major topics or concepts that are new or being reviewed from a lesson previously taught. The way carousel brainstorming works is first, the teacher thinks of questions to ask the students relating to the topic of study. The teacher writes these questions down on a large piece of paper, a piece of poster paper, and places them around the room. The students are divided into groups, um, a maximum of five, and then each group is given a different color marker. The groups then rotate around the room and brainstorm to the answer to the questions, about two to three minutes each question. Since each group is given a different color marker, it is easy to track which group wrote what answer. At the end of the rotation, each poster will have a series of answers written on it. To wrap up the brainstorming session, have a discussion about the topics on each piece of chart paper and reading and discussing what each group wrote, answering questions as you go. Have your students organize the information from the brainstorming session by using a graphic organizer, writing a summary, or doing a gallery walk, recording useful in, uh, information. Carousel brainstorming is an excellent way to engage English language learner students because it activates prior knowledge, makes connections, prepares the students for the lessons, creates personal connections, organizes information, promotes group work, engages in movement, and it's fun. Here's an example of carousel brainstorming as a way to summarize subcategories within a main idea. It's about a third grade lesson. The topic of the lesson is animals, and the subcategories are mammals, reptiles, birds, and fish. The teacher would write a question, uh, list the characteristics of each, for reptiles, mammals, birds, and fish. And as you can see, the different colored, this represents different colored markers the students would be using. Um, let's see, one more depth, one, or, or a more in-depth question, like name a an animal that lives in the Arctic. What kind of reptile might you find around your house? Name one bird that does not fly. Name an insect that can fly. Carousel brainstorming can be used across the content <coughs> curriculum very easily. This concludes my presentation on carousel brainstorming.